are you able to, t- uh, oh, you're pretty open uh, with your feelings? Do you pretty much, will you feel something, you know, hold it in for a month and then go, hey, remember last month when you said, what? What, what? Last month? I'm a dude. I can't remember what, what I had for break. You know what I mean? Do you tend to like bring things up? Like, you know what? This happened. I just want to bring it up. It bothered me a little bit. Are you able to do that with anybody? Yeah. Now, I think now I am. If we had had this conversation when I was 21, I would have said, no, I can't. I have no idea how to talk about my feelings, talk about what's bothering me, even acknowledge that something is bothering me, then that I have a right to have something bother me. <laughs> but now I feel fairly capable most of the time of being First of all, I can acknowledge when I'm feeling something. I can see when I'm making something up. I can address it. So it's made a big difference in my life and my relationships. I imagine I'm much easier to be around now. You've always been easy to be around, Krista. <laughs> Have you experienced any loss thus far in life in 37 years? Any loss that's been kind of like that you sort of something that, you know, because for me, I think it's been, I've had two losses in 48 years, which I'm lucky because people have, I mean, I have a friend, Ethan, who I love, who lost his parents at a very young age and it breaks my heart. Mm-hmm. And you can just see the, the love he still has for them. And, um, you know, loss is something that like, uh, it, you know, can be devastating and how you deal with it and how it makes you stronger. And have you had to deal with any of that? Well, I, I mean, I, my grandparents have all passed away, but I think like, My grandmother that I was closest to, she died when I was quite young. Um, And it had a big impact on my life, but I was six, you know, Um, very different. And as, as an adult, like when it comes to the finality of loss in regards to like death, for instance, I, I haven't, I haven't had anyone very, very close to me pass in a way that was traumatic for me. Um, but I mean, I've dealt with loss in less permanent ways. Um, relationships, you know? Yeah. Loss of relationships, like multiple friendships that have proven to be, you know, really destructive in my life. Um, so things like that I've had to face and, and I think it's certainly given me a more deep experience of life. Yeah. Yeah. And it's funny because the relationships, you know, you think of death when you think of life, but a relationship it is, or, you know, it, it feels like death. Sometimes I I've had those feelings in my stomach where I'm like, Oh my gosh, I can't function because of, of this, uh, of a breakup or whatever. And it's like, you know, that's, it's incredible. It can be incredibly painful, something that you have to keep in check. And, you know, I think it is painful. It's just a different kind of, a, again, I haven't had anyone really close to me past that isn't, you know, a wood. grandparent, but the loss of death, I think is very different. I mean, you could speak to that more than I could than the loss of relationship that yeah. you're grappling with different things. Sure. 